Hi children, I'm Vishweshwari Pramod and I'll be taking moral science for you. Why do we learn moral science? What is the need of moral science in school? The need of moral science is to make us responsible children, maybe responsible citizens, because you are the future. To deal with all these things, I will be handling you, I will be nurturing you to guide you through your classes. All right? And uh, to be frank, institutional values, academic purposes is something that my children will learn to behave properly, to respect, to be sincere, to be honest, all these values I will be teaching you children. You will be learning this at home through, but still, I am a teacher who will guide you through your moral science. All right, for this, I think we will have our first chapter that is good manners. Okay, we are having this the good manners and uh, it is uh, dealing with a child named Divya. So here it is, page number five. Okay, please open page number five and uh, here the lesson goes like this. We have a few values covered and that is good manners and being polite. What do you mean by polite? Okay, so polite means very down to earth. Okay, so I am Divya. I'm studying in class one. Everyone likes me. Everyone loves me. My mother, my father, my sister, my friends, my grandparents and my teachers praise me a lot. So this is a child named Divya saying about herself. She is studying in class one. She's telling that everybody likes her a lot. Now tell me children, do you love everyone? Do everyone like you? Yes. And here it is. And you should know when to say please, thank you, welcome. Okay. So I know you will be using all these terminologies, all these words in your daily life. So the next is, do you want to know why? I say please when I ask for help. For example, you ask anything, can I have your pencil? Can I borrow your pencil? So what do you say, children? If that girl or boy is giving you, so what do you say? Thank you. So first, when you ask them, say, please, please, can I have your pencil? Isn't it? Yes. So the next in that picture, Nitya, can you please share your crayons with me? It is a usual thing in class that some children forget to take some things. But when it is really in need, how do you say that? Please, Nitya, can I have your crayons, please? Isn't it? So, grandpa, to your grandpa, grandfather, can you please help me to solve this problem, grandpa? So, grandpa, to him also we say, please. It's not because of the age children. You say please to everyone. All right. Come to the next page. We have in page number six. I say thank you when someone does good work for me. I say you are welcome when someone thanks me. For example, you, she gave you the crayons. So you are supposed to say thank you. Thank you, Nitya. Isn't it? Okay. So when someone does you good work, for example, she's helping you to do your homework. Your mother is helping you to do your homework. So what do you say, children? Thank you, Mama. 
Z. I say you are welcome. When somebody says thank you, we say back you are welcome. When someone thank you. Divya, I have packed your lunch bag. Do not forget to take it to school. So mother is telling to Divya, I have packed your lunch box. So do not forget. So what does Divya say to mom? Thank you, mommy. Isn't it, children? You all should thank your mother. She's taking a lot of pain. She's taking a lot of struggle to pack your things. Maybe she's having a lot to uh, cook at home. So you should thank your mom. Always. Thanks for sharing your notes with me. Suppose your friends, you are sharing your notes. The other one is absent. Your friend is absent in one class. She doesn't know what has been taken in the last class. So you share your notes. So what do you say, children? Please, can you share me your notes? And you say thank you after sharing. So these are the quiet number of things that you always include in your daily vocabulary. In your talking, say thank you, sorry, please. All right, children. I say sorry if I make a mistake. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not by mistake. I'm sorry. We say like that. Sorry, Arti. I did it by mistake. Suddenly, a cup of co coffee fell uh, by mistake. You say, oh, I'm sorry. All right, children. Use that. Divya, you don't not. You have not, I'm sorry, you have not done your homework. Teacher is asking, Divya, you have not done your homework. So, sorry ma'am, I completely forgot. I will not repeat this mistake again. I'm sorry ma'am, I will not make this mistake again. This is the simplest and the cutest way to make your teachers smile. Please do not do this repeat. But this is something like, you should be genuine children. Genuinity, truthfulness is something we need every time through your lifetime. And Divya, you have not done your homework. Maybe teacher is very serious. You have not done your homework. I'm sorry, ma'am. I will not repeat this again. I will do it now only. Cutest way. I talk politely to people. Politeness. What is politeness, children? Very down to earth. Small children. You should be really polite to everyone. Even to elders, even to your classmates, even to younger children also. Excuse me, sir. May I come in? This is how you come into a classroom. Teacher is already taking class. But you are late for another 5 or 10 minutes. Excuse me, ma'am. May I come in? Okay, this is the way you ask. Excuse me. Please do not rush and come inside the class. Isn't it? That's not the right way. And here it is. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I come in? May I? This is the way you ask. So, you come... Uh, you are a guest at home. You are coming in. You don't have to uh, say excuse me. But you can, the uh, people who welcome you, say welcome auntie and uncle. Please sit down. Some guests are coming at home. Some guests are coming at home. How do you welcome them? Do you ever? See children, your uh, parents will be there to welcome you but in case if you're opening the door welcome auntie welcome uncle please come home please sit down only if you know them only if you know them highlighting people who don't know please do not welcome them at home you immediately call your parents and let them know with this we finished the chapter one but here children I will repeat it again all right and this is something very easy you have learned few words such as 
good manners and being polite. You said you remember you should say please when you need any help. Second, you should say thank you when you already get the help. Second, uh, third one is you should uh, say thank you. Yes, being sorry. Feel sorry about it. Sorry, ma'am, I'm late in the class. Fourth one is excuse me, ma'am, may I come in? Fourth word. And uh, the last one is welcome. And with this, we finished our first chapter and we will be doing here a lot of activities in the class. All right, children. And uh, do you know, do you also want to be loved? Do you want to be loved, children? Or do you want people to have, no, I don't want to talk to that person. Do you want to be like that? You all want to be loved one, isn't it? So put the tick mark under yes. Will you learn these good manners from me? Will you learn these good manners from me? From me, if you have to learn good manners, I should be good first, isn't it? I should be using all these things and definitely all are my good children and you will do it and I'm sure about it. Now you know how, why people love you because you have good manners with you. When you say sorry, Welcome, thank you, all these words, cute words, loving words, definitely people are going to love you. All right, children. Now here we have come to the moral of the story. We have it in the green color box. You must be well behaved and good mannered. Thank you, please, sorry and you're welcome a few words you must learn to use you should learn to use children always say so hearing all these words people will say wow she is well mannered you should be polite when talking to people come let's go this is not the way please come shall we move shall we go this is the way you have to be polite so with this coming to the next page number eight, we have a few good manners listed here and you are supposed to tell me which one is correct. Which of the following are good manners? Circle the correct choice. First one, I welcome guests when they come home. Do you? I welcome guests when they come home children you're not supposed to welcome those who don't those you those people whom you don't know all right you're supposed to welcome guests only whom you know if you if somebody is coming home that you don't know please call your parents you're not supposed to welcome them all right so here the question is i welcome guests when they come home that's true so circle the right mark Second one, I speak rudely when I am in a bad mood. No, that's wrong. I speak rudely, rudely means harshly. Okay, you're becoming very harsh. I speak rudely when I am in a bad mood. Keep quiet. That is the best way. Or tell your mom, tell your dad. No, I'm not in good mood, Papa. Okay, so that is wrong. You have to circle the wrong mark. Third one. I wish my parents good morning when I wake up. Do you do that? Strictly do that every day. All right, children. I wish my parents, not only your parents, you should wish as soon as you come out of your bedroom, you might be seeing your brothers, you might be seeing your sisters, you might be seeing your grandparents even. So you should say, good morning. Always, it's very nice to hear from them. So circle the tick mark. Fourth one, I congratulate my friend when he or she wins a competition. Competition. 
he wins a competition. So you should put a tick mark for that. I do not like spending time with my grandparents. No, that is false again. So circle the wrong mark. Don't you like to spend time with your grandparents children? They are the most beloved people. Yeah, even I like my grandparents a lot and I share a lot of things with them. A lot. I like cuddling them. I like teasing them. I like uh, spending a lot of time. They share many stories. They share many, many stories with you. Okay. So with this, we finish the first portion. Second, Roman number second, circle the correct choice. When someone enters the room without asking my permission, I must shout at them. You must shout at them. No, please do not shout at them. Okay, if your permission is not there and somebody enters the room with per without permission, suppose I'll give you an example, children. All right, your teacher is taking the class. You want to go to the washroom. Suddenly you went out of the classroom. Do you do that? No, you ask her permission, right? Ma'am, may I go to the washroom? This is the way you ask. Suppose you just ran without teacher's permission. You just ran. Teacher is going to shout at you. Why did you go away from my class without asking my permission? No, she will just inquire you. What happened? Maybe you are in a hurry. We don't know. What is the urge? Okay. Second one. I must thank people who help me. Always. You should always help people. You should always thank people who help you children. You may not know how help helping the others could be. You may not be talking to all of the children in the class, but some way or the other, all will become a help to you one day. Third one. So the second one, you should mark true. Third one. I must ask my friend for permission before I take any of his or her things. Do you take others things without their permission? No again. You should always ask their permission. May I use your pencil? May I use your eraser? May I use your rulers? Did you get it children? Always ask their permission and please do not grab things. No, that, they will not like it. Then two people will start fighting and the teacher will go, ma'am, she took my things without um, uh, asking me. This is the usual thing I hear from the class. So please do not take others things without their permission. You'll always ask their permission. May I use your things? So it is true. Third one is true. Fourth one. I should not share my toys with my younger sister. Why children? Why you shouldn't share? You should always share. Share your things, share your breakfast, share your lunch, share whatever you have, share your chocolates, share your ice creams with your sister, brother, mother, father. Like ask them, do you want a little bit of it? I'm having it, so do you want it? Okay. So I should not share my toys with my younger sister. Here they are telling you should not share. So what is it? False. You are supposed to share. So the fourth one is false. Okay. Fifth one. When someone thanks me, I must say, you are welcome. True. When somebody is thanking you, you should say, you're welcome. That is the best way you can address them. All right. So that is true again. So the fifth one is true. With this, let us, we finished the second part of the exercises and the Roman number three is being polite. Okay, children. Which of the following children are polite here? Polite means, I told you, very down to earth, 
very good mannered politeness clap for the polite children by putting a tick mark next to the picture okay so the first first picture says somebody is ringing ringing in the phone may i know who is speaking may i know who is speaking okay is that the best way being polite yes so you should clap for them clap next picture is the second picture is could you please allow me in could you please allow me in can i come in is that polite children or rude is it polite or rude it is polite so you can clap for it again okay third picture in page number 9 third picture in page number 9 is give me back my book give me back my book give my book back is it polite no it is not polite so you should not clap for it don't clap okay get out of my room is it polite no again so please do not say it and do not clap for it with this we finished few exercises from page number 8 and now we go on to answer the following activity for fun roman number 5 activity for fun in page number 9 okay color the good clouds in green and the bad clouds in red you're supposed to color the clouds children you can see few clouds and something is written in it okay so what do you do if it is green then it is good if it is bad it is red in color you should be coloring it okay so let's start first cloud please bring me water please so that means it is good so color that in green second the down cloud okay the cloud which is behind can you please guide me to the post office somebody wants to go to the post office and she doesn't know the way so she is asking you can you please guide me to the post office so it is good that is a polite way to ask then below never talk to me again i don't want to hear from you never talk to me again is that good no it is bad so color that in red how dare you touch my pencil box how dare you touch my pencil box who asked you to touch my pencil box good or bad bad so color written red sorry for not attending your birthday party i really missed it sorry is it good or bad children good i will not listen to you no i don't want to hear anything from you bad or good red in color it is bad with this we finished the exercises in page number 9 and soon we will be coming up with the answer the following questions in single line okay children so shall we start okay the first question is what does divya say when she asks for help what does divya say when she asks for help so what is the answer children divya says please when she asks for help okay divya says please when she asks for help second question is what does divya say when someone thanks her what does divya say when someone thanks her the answer is divya says welcome when she thanks her divya says welcome when someone thanks her what does divya say when she does a mistake what does divya say when she does a mistake i'm sorry i did a mistake i'm sorry 
I did a mistake. So Divya says, I'm sorry when she does a mistake. Divya says sorry when she does a mistake. With this, we finished our lesson for chapter 1. Okay, thank you.